Hello there. In this video, we're going to experiment with some unusual shapes inside the Vue applications. It is introduction beginner type of the class, and it's help us to kind of understand how it's work, how application work by doing hands-on project. So in this case, we're going to look on simple Boolean operations and some hyper texture materials, how they all work together. Right here in our view, you can notice we have our camera positions and we'll just go and create a few simple objects. On our left side, you'll notice we have our shapes with this dot dot, blue dot. It's mean if we right click, we can select all these different type of object. And I just go and select the sphere, put its sphere right there. And you notice if we're going over those dots on the sides, we can modify shape of our object. For example, we can squish, we can if we go on a corner, change the size or make taller. So we can play around with some very basic shapes. For this, let's go just make few shapes. I create one shape like this and we'll put it down. Also, if you hold, if you hold down Alt or Option key and while you're holding left click and move it, you actually duplicated this object. So you're creating another same one. In this case, we'll just go in and um, create like this object. Okay, we have it one right there. Let's go again, hold Alt Option, move it, rotate it. Look at this, I'm creating kind of funny shape if I just move around. Pyramid, yes. So we'll go again, select our sphere we did. Alt or option and move it. Let's go just to rotate this way. And here you can kind of experiment with all different type of shapes. Just create weird. Think about this. This is our very unusual structure we try to create. Maybe you know what? We're going to create an arch. Okay, right here. And I'm going from all different views front left right just kind of you know play around and this is up to your imaginations and again we can go squeeze more like this there you go now let's make even like that kind of play around create and you can see right here it's look blobby something we can use it also a cube, we can use it, the pyramid, a any other shapes you want it. After this, what we want to do, we want to take all of these spheres right here and select. Selecting, just select top, hold down shift key and click on the bottom and it select all of them. Next, we're going on our right side, left side and right below, we can see right here, it says create meta blob. So let's click on this. And notice what's happened here. It's take this object and create kind of like one object, but now we don't have it those seams. Now we have it like the old molded together. So it's creating very interesting shape. The nice about this, they are not locked together. If we're going on our browser for our object and expand, you can see right here we have it our spheres. And let's just select one bottom sphere. Notice it select here on our views and we can change and as we changing shapes it's also changing our shapes in our main render view this is a nice way to readjust general shape how you want to look after we're done with all of this we're going to bake this as a single object so our application does not use it that much memory or much easy to texture okay we've done this step but with missing some details. Right now it's just a blob, yes? And we can also apply just water and it will be like cool water arch or other things. But we can also very easy to apply special materials that is called displacement materials that adjust also shape to our object. Let's go ahead, going with load materials, we'll click on this. And in our collection of materials, we want to go and find displacement material on the side. Notice we have it all of these different type of rocks. I would recommend experiment with some. For example, if I select a rock, 
you can see how it's changed and look right now it's look like a rock it's very awesome so let's go ahead and select the different and we can play with different type of rocks some of them will have it more eroded like right here and they may look a little bit not real because maybe we need to play with scale like right here zero five if we increase scale to one you can see it's become better and also as we're playing with materials let's look on a few options what is making this displacement is change a little bit shape of materials base it on the normals way they're going and all this kind of functions right here we can go and check displacement not as displacement it's not necessarily bump material bump material will change by basic render the lights reflection of lights highlights or shadows and that is kind of perspective but if we look like on the line of object it does not change shape of the object displacement work a little bit different it's actually will work and look like it's changed some shape of the object and this is important things to understand about this also we're right now working with simple materials of raw materials if you work with the pbr materials or other things that could be a little bit different but in general displacement will look about same right here let's look what we have notice we have it our depth parameter and it is how much depth will happen of this um, displacement what is the different will be between this so if we're going and we'll say for example 0 0.1 of the meter you can notice displacement is less effective so it's kind of helpful you can see how much you want effect of this displacement on your object as well we have some filters option applied in this exchange shape how they perform this is the change if we look on our material you can notice it's almost like eroded some pieces and this is all because of this filter we can also affect a little bit more of this erosion to create like this straight so it will have it even you see now those ones is kind of smooth another one eaten in and if we adjust we'll remove a little bit of the smoothness off so you can play a little bit with these filters and a filter just go over right click and select edit filter you also can click on loaded filters and in this case you can just select some already pre-made it so you can experiment and see how they work okay i think this is work good we can add smoothness which is fix some of the uh, problems sometimes if you have a breaking edge but this will apply good quality better quality is will recalculate it's obviously will make better but it will come with the cost of the longer render usually if it's your hero object then what i mean hero it's like main object that you're displaying up front of something then you want to add better quality because this is what will draw attention if this object will be somewhere stay in the background and maybe out of focus or hiding or i think it's not hero object then you maybe want to keep it quality lower or whatever to reduce some resource of usage okay we'll keep it everything like this let's look on our colors and notice the colors produced by the functions you can access function by right click and select edit function and in the edit function let's look what we have we have as before we look our input we have some multiplications properly done we also have it this is simple fractals right here if i'm right yeah parallel noises then one is work with the colors and one use the color map for them notice it's two different color map and they're all blended together with a blend and going in the color it just add more kind of variety if you want to change color you can go to any of this right click edit color map and right here you can actually select map color which one you want it modify like you desire and you can see this will change also map what we're using you can also just click load and select some of the maps 
that are already pre-mated or maybe you have it your own library of the colors so let's go ahead when you done modify your colors click OK OK again and now we modify the colors you can also play with many other properties here we we'll look on the colors and by the way colors you can use it as procedure color it's what we have right now it's function driven you can use it constant color you can take some picture and map it just a picture to this natural grain it's what we used in our previous videos or procedure colors that is using function to draw those colors we also can apply alpha or transparency currently we don't need it bump map remember what i says bump map will add effect of this but it's not necessarily will change shape so normals if we have it any apply normals will change a little bit of shape of the object displacement it's what we're currently working with ambient um, occlusion or constant we don't need to worry about this we also have it highlights and currently we do have it some highlights and we can increase highlights will create more specular lighting and you can see right here very good if you have it like reflective maybe metal or some glass but in many we just want to do kind of on the rock you know because the lights come in it's uh, disturbed in the different areas so we do this we don't worry about transparency or reflections however you could increase reflections and create total reflective kind of a metallic look but if you add reflective here and you want metallic you want to go inside effect and also enable color reflect metallic and this case it will look a little bit more as a metal because it will transfer also color but let's disable this notice as i'm changing this option option is enabled and this is allowed us to control that specific um property with the functions we'll look on those in some more intermediate class kind of how to do this right now just keep in mind that almost every option and properties we can link quite a bit to all those functions to make them interact together or depend or some other elements okay we'll take reflection off we don't need reflection here in effect we'll look our uh, let's go back to our reflections as we looked before global reflectivity blur sensitivity so we fine with this you can also apply reflection map if you have it and this is work very well if you have some object and you're using hdr lighting you can actually take the same map and apply to reflection so it will kind of look very nice and natural in this case okay translucency it's more if you have it candles like wax or other things skin maybe some little bit translucent you can apply here we don't want translucent in this case by the way translucent will increase significantly render time because it's need to calculate how lights going inside the object material spread and so on okay and of course we'll look on effects already where we have a diffusion lighting ambient lighting we have it luminosity luminosity make object glowing by itself so if you decide to create flowers like in the avatar glowing just have it your luminosity and you can make poof, the object will kind of glowing very cool option to do this okay we'll have it our contrast backlight we don't worry about this and also color transmitting light so if we have it like a blue flower we want to glow we want to transmit the light so we can enable this case but this is maybe for next time when we create a special flower in our plant factory put it here and try to work with all these materials so I think this is just good for now as a rock let's click OK here okay we'll take our main camera and we can reposition bring maybe even closer like a little bit this way to our rock well nice things about this rock because even we apply all these materials in everything it's still changeable so I can actually select one of these change if I needed position you know even skewed kind of like weird way and notice I'm change it's change shape and it still apply our material material does not change and the material apply to everything and one of the reason because 
it is going through everything and it's using world parametric and so it's a map it with coordinates related to all world what we're using in this case object parametric will kind of work as well because it is still using as the same model applied to everything but i think world parametric will serve better in this case okay and when you're done and you say okay you know what i'm done with this object i want to save for everything i would recommend right click on this and going says bake to the polygon if you click on back to polygon you'll notice it's come up menu where it says bake quality it's tell you how many polygons will be uh, created versic and so on you can increase quality or lower quality but at this time if i go 50 percent resolutions a little bit will decrease and it will depend on the power of your cpu and computers may take a long time if you have high details or it maybe take less time as example let me show you so let's go to create a very low resolution like 30 percent and we'll click ok notice it's a quite a bit big and notice we lost our resolution it's a rock does not look exactly the same as before because it's a very low resolution less polygon so less representation let me do control or command z to undo what we've done and this way you can actually go ahead and try experiment baking to polygon to see what quality you want it for example we're going right now with 58 percent and you can definitely see it will be look a little bit better material maybe you start losing on this case then you can try to reapply different material again okay let's undo Control z so this is a way kind of find out find a way to represent your object that you created in a best performer personally i would recommend leave it as a meta blob because you never know you maybe come back and play a little bit more with this this is we applied a simple simple material the other step up from this what i would kind of suggest for you to go and experiment around with this it's a try to maybe add some ecosystem with another rocks and this you will have it a lot of fun but we'll look on ecosystem populations on specific object in our next video thank you for watching and have a great day